Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Hellions from Daniel Madison and Illusionist.com. All right, so what is the Hellion deck? Uh, the Hellion deck was a limited release. As of right now, they really haven't opened deck sales to the public. Uh, the only way to have received these decks were through various specials that Illusionist released on the interwebs. This deck is a collaboration between Oban Jones and Daniel Madison, and uh, it is actually a tribute deck. So David Blaine's Gatorbacks uh, have a, you know, alligator theme, and they have a very complex uh, back design. Uh, this is a tribute to that, uh, but instead of gators, it has a devil theme. Now, if you don't know what a Hellion is, a Hellion is a rowdy, mischievous, or troublemaking person. Usually it's a child. Usually you say a child is a Hellion. The tuck case is actually upside down and backwards. So uh, this would probably be the front of the tuck case. However, you see the tongue flap is on this side uh, and the word Hellions is upside down. So you'd actually have to flip it over uh, to do it that way and the cards would come out the bottom. So we'll call this the front. The front of the tuck case uh, is a field of red, and it says Hellions amidst a giant field of red, and it has a devil's tail there. Uh, the sides of the tuck case are white on white text, so it's kind of hard to read. One side says don't play cards, and the other side says with the devil. Uh, the bottom of the tuck case has the Daniel Madison logo, and then the top has ad copy about the Illusionist playing card company. The other back side of the tuck case has the back design of the deck, and then it has a little red crescent that says open and forfeit all. It's kind of reminiscent of the quote, abandon all hope ye who enter here. Now, the tongue flap has a quote on it as well. It says, as above, so below. This is a quote that was recorded in the hermeneutic text of the Emerald Tablet of Hermes, which states that which is below corresponds to that which is above, and that which is above corresponds to that which is below, to accomplish the miracle of the one thing. The small flaps on the inside both have two different triangle symbols. One is the symbol for Lucifer, which would be the devil, and the other one is the Eye of Providence, which is usually a symbol for God. Also, you notice the inside tuck liner has a lot of devilish tails that make up the Daniel Madison logo. And then if you look way down deep inside there, there is a devil laying on his back. That is pretty, that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their new thinner casino stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossed. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Now, a lot of people will always ask me how these cards feel and handle. Best thing I can do is measure them for you and just give you an idea of how they might feel compared against other cards maybe that you've owned before or held before. Uh, 10 of these in the caliper comes to 2.80. 2.80 is about the same thickness as the gold gator backs. If you take a look at the side of the deck, it does have a very smooth uh, cut. I would say that's probably a medium uh, in between something that's probably really rough and something that's super smooth. I would say that's a medium. And then if you look at the corners, they have a nice rounded edge. Of course, this is a Q1 deck, which means it's done with the Q1 quality controls down at the USPCC. So it's gonna be a little bit better than uh, a deck of cards that you would buy off the shelf. The back design is very complex, and I would also add kind of complicated. Uh, it's made up of different devil tales, tridents. You have Daniel Madison's slogan, magic is dead. You have a double X there in the center. Uh, and it's just a really wild, chaotic, back design. You really don't know where your eye should land on this. There really doesn't seem to be any strong focal point other than the four devils that are in the corner. You also have a thin uh, poker border as well that's kind of accented by these red dots which make up the only color that is on the back design. Uh, people have asked if this is a marked deck. It is not a marked deck, but Daniel Madison said he built a system into the deck to where if you had a Sharpie marker, you could probably mark the deck yourself. With this deck, you're gonna get two gaff cards. One of them is a double backer, which is great for magic. And the other one is a Ace of Clubs, Three of Hearts gaff, which is great for magic tricks. Your two jokers are a ink pen and a parchment. So you would write on the parchment with the pen, obviously. Um, the parchment is you selling your soul to Daniel Madison, if you sign the bottom. And then the quill is a raven's feather, which is unique to all of Daniel Madison's previous jokers from his other decks. Something of note, your Ace of Spades in this deck is normal, small, it's the normal size. It is not the prominent Ace in the deck. No, the prominent Ace is the Ace of Diamonds and has the Devil there in the center wearing a suit 
and he is walking with a cane, and around him it says, do not play cards with the devil. With this deck, the pips and indice cards are stylized. The pips are uh, a little smaller than normal. They're kind of squished in, and you have an original indice in the corner. Uh, the blacks are black, of course, and the reds have a black outline around the red pip. With this deck, you're also gonna get two different types of court cards. Um, you're gonna get the Madison courts that depict Madison's friends and other famous magicians, and you'll get the remainder of the courts that don't depict anyone uh, unique at all. And so the classical uh, courts that don't represent any of Daniel Madison's friends, uh, these court cards all have their eyes closed. They're all asleep, or you could say that they're all dead. And then you have a series of custom courts that are all um, unique to this deck. So for instance, the King of Spades is Open Jones, and the Queen of Spades is Open Jones' wife. The King of Clubs is Mark Calabrese. The King of Hearts is Sage Francis. He's probably best known for being associated with Strange Famous Records. It's kind of a fringe indie hip hop uh, recording studio. And if you'll notice, his uh, court card is a one-way image. Of course, very famously, uh, Daniel Madison is the King of Diamonds. And he has his infamous Nine of Clubs card reveal on one hand. And then on the other hand, he has a little stigmata. All right, so that is my review of the Daniel Madison Hellions. I got my deck from illusionist.com and I would advise you to keep watching their social media so that you will know uh, when this deck will drop to the public. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also ask that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.